All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Thanks, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith regardless of people here for a bit. Just want to bring out a couple of scriptures just on, on confessing the Lord, man. You know. Everybody want to be saved. Everybody want to be delivered. But don't nobody want to confess you how about Shem Shai when it comes to talking about the Lord. You don't see Israelites even talking about the Lord. You don't see the you don't see Israelites praising you how about Shem Shai. And then you got you got people that know they Israelites still calling on God and Christ blessed. Because when you confess the Lord, you got to confess them in the true proper names in the Hebrew. You can't just call them anything. You got people still calling who they even call God and Jesus Christ anything. And then they think they're going to get blessed. Nah, ain't no blessings coming behind that. So I just want to bring out a couple of scriptures. Through the spirit of your house, by Shem Yashai, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. I'm confessing the Lord, man. In season, out of season. When it's not a popular thing, you still confessing the Lord. You being persecuted for confessing the Lord. Let's get it. First scripture I want to get to St. Matthew. This is this is an important uh, topic. You want the Lord to confess you, but you're not confessing him. Come on now. This is St. Matthew chapter 10. Verse 32. Red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they even call Jesus. It says, um, whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. Right? Confessing your how about Shema Shah before men. We're gonna get that definition. Let's get that definition, confess. We look up the meaning of words here at Great Millstone. Confess. Confess. Admit or state that one has committed. Pretty, pretty much acknowledge to admit. Let's see what else. To pretty much to say, to bring to light, to own up to, to declare. So we, we got to declare Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We got to confess. We got to acknowledge. We got to admit that we know the, the God of the Bible, man. We got to reveal, profess, own up to. It's going to come a day, you know what I'm saying, where our life's going to be put on the line, where our life's being put on the line now. But the scriptures tell us that we're going to be taken in front of governors. For the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, we're gonna have to confess it. We're confessing Yahweh Bashim Yahshai now on the highways and byways. But then when we brought in front of governors, we're gonna have to confess their names too. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to admit that we know Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and that we worship them. Because what the scriptures say again, Saint Matthew, chapter ten, verse thirty-two: Whoso therefore shall confess me. Before men, and that's what we're doing out there on the highways and byways. That's what we're doing with the sit down lessons. Him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. You, we're acknowledging Lord Yahweh Shai before the whole world. So Lord Yahweh Shai is going to acknowledge us before the Father. He's going to confess us before the Heavenly Father. The Father of Spirits now. This if you confess Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But then you got people confessing a higher Shia, God and Christ bless, Yah, and all this other nonsense. No. Now, th those aren't the names. When you acknowledge that you know someone, you, you acknowledge their name. Okay? Do you know Steve? Yes, I know Steve. I, I acknowledge who Steve is. I acknowledge who Ryan is. You're not going to call Ryan Paul or Ryan Dave. Nah. Because then you're not acknowledging that person. 
But what this scripture say, we're going to read on. For whosoever shall deny me before men, and when you're calling on different names, and not the true high holy names in the Hebrew tongue, you how about Shemel Shai, look, look, you're denying the Lord. When you're scared to go out there to the highways and byways, you're denying the Lord. But the Lord said what? But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. That's why we're instant in season, out of season. Regardless of people here forbear, we're instant in season, out of season. Because if we don't confess, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, meaning if we deny the Lord, turn our back on the Lord because of what people are saying about you. Look, he's going to deny you to the Heavenly Father. And, and ain't nothing but dark days coming. Ain't nothing but dark days coming, man. You ain't confessing your how about Shemel Shai with all these dark times coming. Ain't nothing but death coming. You better confess your how about Shemel Shai before the whole world. While you still got time. Plus the scriptures tell us woe, woe unto us if we preach not the gospel, meaning destruction. Let's, let's get that right quick. First Corinthians. You want to be saved, you want to be delivered, you want to be acknowledged by Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then look, you better go confess the Lord before men while you still got time. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. And it reads, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glorify of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me. If I preach not the gospel, that's verse 16. Woe means death and destruction, right? So woe unto the man that know of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and, not, and is not out there preaching the gospel, meaning the good news. Supposed to be spreading this message. Making it go forth. Showing forth your good works. It's just for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. And when we out there confessing you have about Shem Yahweh we're doing it willingly. So there's a reward. It comes with a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. So you want to go out there and preach the gospel willingly. You don't, Saturday come, you don't want to be like, man, another Saturday, man. I got to go out there again. Nah, you want to do this thing willingly. You, you want a reward, don't you? You want to be fed when all hell break loose, right? You want comfort? Then go confess your how about Shemel Shah before the whole world. Don't supposed to be ashamed. Just, just something through the spirit. You don't supposed to be ashamed when it comes to acknowledging your how about Shemel Shah to the whole world. So what, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, right? You got to fight. You want somebody to fight for you? You got to fight. You got to contend for the truth. And once again, when you're confessing your how about Shemel Shai, you got to bring forth those names. Can't just call them anything up under the sun, Israel. You know the Lord ain't dealing with that anyway, man. Can't nobody just call you anything, right? Can't nobody just call you anything, right? And get away with it. Psalm chapter 98, it's like your Psalm chapter 69, verse 6. Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, power of hosts, be ashamed for my, for my name's sake, for my sake. We're waiting on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and at the same time, we're confessing the Lord before the whole world. Let not those men be ashamed. Let not those Israelites be ashamed. Meaning, meaning confounded. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O power of Israel. And so, so that's pretty much that's what it is. It is what it is, man. Let them not be ashamed. They waited for your how by Shemel Shah, but the Israelites that didn't wait for your how by Shemel Shah, the Israelites that didn't confess. You have about Shemel Shah. You know you're going to be ashamed in that day. You're going to be ashamed in that day, man. 
Let's bring another. Like I said before, just something short through the spirit. I was about to roll out. And the Lord just put a thought on my head like yours. Keep confessing my name before the whole world. Don't be ashamed like a whole lot of Israelites are. They know the name, but still ain't confess. Look, it's 2020. In the middle of 2020, all hell break loose. And you got Israelites still scared to confess the names that you have by Shemel Rashad. They still talking about God and Christ blessed. And all this other nonsense that don't make no sense. You know, that don't make no sense whatsoever. But, but that's part of the story, though. Second Timothy chapter one, verse eight. Be not thou for ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Who have saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, right? Not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. We understand because of you how Bashimashai's will, not because of something we did great. That's why that's the, that's another reason why we should confess Yahweh Bashim Yahushua before the world. He called us into this thing of ours, Lord, when we get saved and delivered because of His tender mercy. What that, that's what that gives you another reason not to be ashamed. Who have saved us and called us with the holy calling? I have chosen you. You have not chosen me, right? Not according to our works. Because we was all into the world doing nonsense before we heard about this word. And like we was do keeping the righteous acts of the Bible. But according to his own purpose and grace. Which was given us in Yahweh Shah Mashiach before the world began, man. So before the world even began. Certain spirits was already going to be chosen, man. To preach this gospel, to confess the words that you have about Shemel Shah, to get saved and delivered. And this gospel then went forth throughout the four corners of the earth. And look, that's about that time. Are you, look, are you still confessing you have about Shemel Shah, or are you playing around? That, that's one thing you don't do. You don't play around with the name of the Lord. You know. It says it's only um, one name up under heaven you can call on to be saved and delivered. I wouldn't, I wouldn't play around with those names if I was you. I really wouldn't. Excuse me, be partakers of the affliction of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Of Lord Yahweh Shai specifically. Let's get another one. St. Luke chapter 4. Verse 18. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. The Israelites, right? He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives. You Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we have been anointed to preach the gospel, to confess Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the whole world, right? And recovering of sight to the blind, the Israelites, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai. So I just want to do something through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. See how important it is to confess Yahweh Bashim Shai to the world, to the captives. And you can't be ashamed to do it. It says you got to do this thing willingly. That's the gift of faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gave us. So your teachers ain't going to be removed into a corner anymore. Confess Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Look, this ain't the time to be ashamed of your power. Because all the gods of the nations are idols. Just remember that, Israel. Confess the Lord. Shalom.